What's up guys, coming to you with another video from the one, and this is recapping the 2016 year in sports video gaming, so here we go. Starting off with the first video game, MLB 16 The Show. It was a very, very well and fun game to play for video gamers across YouTube and gamers in general. MLB The Show, I put out a lot of content in featuring daily games that were simulations of games going on in real life that day, especially in the playoffs in October for MLB, and also the Road to the Show mode, which I did with Ace of Spades, my character, who did very well. I stopped because there was this glitch that was not working. I just could not get to MLB. I was hitting like 400 but hopefully they fix that glitch in MLB 17, the show with Ken Griffey Jr. on the cover. Overall, MLB 16, the show, I give it a 9 out of 10. I 8 out of 10, actually. I think they could have improved on Road to the Show with more cutscenes. I think they should implement a creative stadium, but that's for another video. An 8 out of 10 for MLB, the show. Great, smooth gameplay. I loved it. Going on to my other and most prominent gaming, sports gaming content I have is the M is the WWE 2K series, starting off with WWE 2K16. I put out WWE 2K16 content mostly every day this summer with creating arenas like the new Raw and SmackDown Live arenas and the new championships that were made like the Universal and Championship, the new SmackDown and Raw Tag Team Championships, which very, very well liked throughout all the viewers that I have experienced. And I will con I continue making them in WWE 2K617, and they seem like a very big hit. I also did a My Career Mode for 2K17, which they greatly approved on with the Promo Mode in 2K17, but yet... It was very overhyped, and I think they could do better. But going back to 2K16, I loved how they had the creation suite was expanded from the crappy 2K15 audience. I mean, creation suite, which was just create a superstar, it was brutal. But now, since it really helped YouTubers like me who create content for how to create a custom championship or arena like that, and that is great for us, and hopefully it'll stay on the series through 2K18. Going overall, I think 2K16 gets a 8 out of 10. Their My Career Road was lackluster, like 2K15, and but there was a lot of fuller ma filler matches that were not fun. But yeah, overall it was a pretty good, smoothly played game. Going on to 2K17, I continue to put on custom creation content like custom championships, superstars like James Ellsworth, um, custom arenas as the brand split really helped me with all of this. So it was a perfect time to make a YouTube channel all about this. And 2K17 was really fun to play. I liked how they have the... Uh, make the universe more smoother and more like real life with the intro and the pyro they brought that back they have something like a creative story mode with the videos which i do that help my phenomenal journey in the future i gotta put another video out in 2017 but overall i think wwe 2k17 was very nice as i said before the promo mode was a little overhyped, hopefully they could get that better, because some of the lines they say make absolutely no sense and a little boring. Maybe they could do some mic work with some of the superstars to have some, uh, over, have some voiceovers in the game. Alright guys, thanks for watching the video, please remember to slam that like button, and subscribe, and please also comment to my videos, I wish to see you, and hope you all have a great 2017. This is the one signing off.